We are awaiting images of William and Kate. We imagine we'll see them at any moment. Perhaps they're already there. Uh, we had, frankly expected to see them before this moment, so we will have to see how this unfolds. And it now looks... Stuck in traffic, it, perhaps. It, it, it looks like there won't be tiaras. There was a lot of chat about whether the female members of the royal family would be wearing tiaras or hats or fascinators, but so far I haven't spotted any tiaras. So. We think that, and then there was a rumor that Kate would be wearing a floral headband instead of a tiara. So all of the fashionistas will be waiting with bated breath. So as this processional enters Westminster Abbey, you're seeing some of the royal regalia steeped in history, used in many, many coronations past. We've seen uh, the, one of the crowns that will be worn today by the king. The queen also is going to be wearing Queen Mary's crown. We see the scepters, the orbs, all of the, as they say, the, the, the vestments, the badges, and the honorable items that date back centuries being processed into the Abbey. 
all the regalia and you can see that the the king has chosen various people um, to carry these these incredible uh, regalia. You see Floella Benjamin was a, um, a children's TV presenter on the right, now a member of the House of Lords. Um, the, the orb on the left um, that you'll see, the cross on the top is actually wonky, is now on, on our right being carried um, to the right of the crown because the crown jewels, um, were, there was an attempted theft on them many hundreds of years ago and the orb was dropped and now the crown is wonky and there is the Queen in her Bruce Oldfield dress. And it's important as well just to note that even though today of course the King became King the, the, the moment his uh, late mother passed away the reason you see the crowns and all the rest of the regalia travel into the service ahead of them uh, is because historically until they were crowned they wouldn't necessarily become uh, king, so uh, he is the king, but he follows in the crown that this service will duly uh, place on his head once he's uh, anointed and by God. A moment and watch this. Of course, both king and queen surrounded by pages, and the king's eldest grandson, George, has the honor of being one of those pages today. Let's watch as the ceremony begins.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.